Hey everybody, Keith K here with a quick mini tutorial on the locator and using the map and, uh, and beacons to go with that. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so let's start with taking a look at the locator. Uh, you start off with the locator hot linked to four or uh, you can move it around here in the inventory screen if you like. And we press four to bring it up and you can see that it does um, have the structures that we've built uh, highlighted in orange. If you right click you can zoom in and you can see that there are little dots that correspond to, uh, at least seem to correspond to uh, some of the mineral, mineral rocks that are, are around. If you look in the upper right hand corner, you'll also notice that um, I can cycle through what the locator is pointing to, which gives me the compass and the distance. All right, so my spawn position for this particular game is 77 meters in this direction. Um, if I left click, I can see where my drone is because sometimes he takes off. I've named this the main base. Uh, have a remote inflatable dome at a spot that is pretty far away that I uh, sometimes work at. Work Camp Alpha, uh, which has, um, I believe, it has a bunch of minerals and some gases. And then the Hydrogen Work Camp, uh, which obviously is where I found some hydrogen and um, some carbon that I work with. I sometimes stay there for a while. And then we have the GAV and the spaceship. So first thing to cover is how do we get these names in the first place? So if you switch to your multi-tool and you approach a structure, you'll see that you have an option uh, to nickname. In this case, it's the B key, and I've named this the main base. So it's really that simple. Now, if you want to tag a location so that you can find it later, uh, you'll need a beacon. Unless you build a building, of course, you can, you can name a building. If you put down, say, an inflatable dome somewhere, you can name it that way. But if it's more of a feature that you want to be able to keep track of, then you'll need a beacon. And if we look at, that wind is loud, I apologize. If we look at utilities, we can see that a beacon uh, can be placed to help keep track of interesting locations in the world. All right, and that it shows up on your radar. And in order to build it, we need a beacon kit. And the place you build your beacon kit is right here in the furnace. You'll see we need uh, one steel, one glass, and one plutonium. So I'm gonna go ahead and build, I'll just build a couple of them. And then we will grab our beacon, our beacon kit, excuse me. And then I'm gonna head out um, to a couple different locations and I'll be right back to show you how you place the beacon and then make use of it. Okay, so here's a pretty interesting structure. This looks to be like some sort of abandoned uh, underground base um, in the side of this, I wouldn't call it a mountain, but structure here. So uh, let's take a look at uh, setting that down. So we go under utilities, we look at our beacon. You can see we have two beacon kits, so we'll just select that. And then like so many other things, uh, we're just gonna place it. And we don't need to place it, you know, necessarily right in front of it. We'll place it near it so that we can find it. And it's the same thing. You press F to confirm the build, and then you hold down the left mouse button or the F button until it's built. And you can stop sooner, but it'll just have less it will have less um, durability. So now if we go back to our locator, we can cycle through and we see beacon. Now beacon is not that useful of a term if we end up placing three or four beacons. So we'll switch to the multi-tool. And again, you can pack them up so you can reuse them. You can repair them if they get run down. Uh, in this case, it's already at full health. But here we'll go ahead and nickname them. And this is, we'll call this Abandoned Underground. All 
and it won't allow any more than that. So we'll just stick with that. Uh, we'll know what that means. Now, one thing I do want to point out before you get into a vehicle, you don't need your multi-tool for this. Before you get into a vehicle, you want to make sure you bring up your locator and set your, basically set your locator for what it is you want to um, have your indicator pointing to. So I'm going to keep the main base up just so I know how far I am. Um, but once you get in the vehicle, you'll see that we can't bring the multi, sorry, we can't bring the locator back up and therefore we can't change what is displayed on the map. So that is one thing when you are uh, when you are in a vehicle that you want to make sure you do before you board, before you get on it. All right, and I'm going to find another interesting spot to put the second beacon and then we'll be back. All right, so here we've got a couple of berry trees in this forest here. So we're going to go ahead and put our second beacon down since I have so much trouble finding these in the first place. I'll just put it close to this particular beacon. Uh, sorry, this particular berry tree. So go ahead and place it and then hold. And then while we're here, let's just grab a few berries. Let's not forget, where is the berry? Sometimes these berries fall all over the place and you don't get as many as you think, but even just a few gets you started. So again, we're gonna to switch to the multi-tool, approach the beacon, hit nickname, and then we'll say berry trees. If I could spell, although beer trees would also be pretty interesting. All right, and that's about it. Um, you can now see if we go to our locator, we have our main base, the abandoned underground uh, base that we left a beacon for, and now our berry trees that we left a beacon for. And that's pretty much all you need to do to get uh, your map set up and to use beacons and to nickname things. I hope this was useful. If you liked it and you'd like to see more, uh, please subscribe like the video and uh, leave a comment. I definitely read these and uh, would love to hear how you're enjoying the game. Until next time, 